Hey guys, welcome back to another video. A few weeks ago, I did my first freediving course with Dan Parsons at Freediving Central. There were four of us taking the course. Sandro, a certified Wim Hof breathing instructor, Michael and Sharon, who wanted to get more into their diving and snorkeling, and me. Sandro told me he was doing the course because he wanted to learn more about freediving breathing and he wanted to try the sport out as well. Michael and Sharon wanted to get a bit more comfortable in the water and wanted to get better at freediving and snorkeling. Day one was a few hours of theory in the morning, learning the basics of freediving, like buoyancy, equalization, and kind of the science behind breath holding. After a few hours of theory in the morning, we hopped in the pool for some static breath holds. Sharon told me that a few months ago, she had a hard time just putting her face underwater and then she smashed a minute 45 static breath hold. Dan was a great coach in the pool. We did a few warm up breath holds and the soothing monotone voice of Dan Parsons would just guide us into relaxing into each breath hold. Right guys, we're gonna start thinking about relaxing our muscles, working down the body, any tension you have, and when you release it. Can I please get a signal guys? Thank you. You guys are doing really well. Good. After the static dives, we moved on to the dynamics. Everyone smashed their dynamic dives. Mick got to about 30 meters, which he wasn't too pleased with until I told him that was pretty much the equivalent dive time and distance to doing a 15 meter depth dive. And then he was pretty pleased with himself. Sharon was having buoyancy issues, but still made it to 20 or 30 meters. And Sandro came in with pretty much no free diving experience and got to 20 or 30 meters as well. Oh, you got me. That's a money shot. Sorry. The money <laughs> shot. You've got a money shot on your phone. Oh, you got one on your GoPro too. Don't worry about that. Got a money shot. There you go. You'll have a giggle. You'll have a giggle. I hadn't been in the pool for ages, so I wanted to see how far I could get. On my first dive, I got to 50 meters. Second dive was about 60 meters. And on my third dive, I just completely zoned out near the end of the pool and just swam straight into the end of the pool and smashed my head. <laughs> head butted the wall. Oh, did you? Oh, shit. Head butted the wall? Like, full face. What, fully? Yeah, he's going quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, I was like, stop. Stop or I'll say stop again. Day two was all open water diving. We went line diving off Lily Pilly Baths, which is a bit south of Sydney, and we went into a really protected area that was sheltered by a sandbar. Sydney copped a bunch of rain a few days before the dive course, so the viz was actually all right. It was five to six meters, which wasn't great, but it was pretty good considering the conditions. We took turns diving the line and a few of the group had equalization problems, so went feet first to sort that out. I went pretty slow as well because I was trying to work on my friends' equalization. So I was going about 30 centimeters a second, which is about a third of the speed that you'd usually go line diving. Dan kept everyone really comfortable by getting us to all visualize the dive going well before the dive and also visualizing just being in a safe place so that we didn't think about the urge to breathe or the increase in pressure as we went down. For me, just staring at the line and zoning out was enough to feel pretty comfortable. At the start of the course, my goal was to hit 15 to 20 meters during the line dive. 20 for me was pretty unrealistic because I'd never been deeper than 12 before the course. I thought, oh yeah, 20 shouldn't be too hard. I've done a 75 meter pool dive and can hold my breath for almost four minutes. During the line dive, I'd noticed the pressure increase a lot at about 10 meters. And that definitely put the depth in, into perspective when I was struggling to get past 12 meters. After lunch, I went with the more advanced group who was training about 30 meters away from us in the morning.
Manny was the safety diver on this line and I got him to film me going for PBs. On this dive, I hit 16 meters, which I was stoked with. From about 12 meters, I felt like I had no air left in my lungs, but I managed to get to 16 before turning around on my last dive. Hope you guys enjoyed seeing what goes on at a free diving course. Just to give you a quick summary of what goes on at the dive course, both days went from about 9 in the morning until 4 p.m. Day one was a few hours of theory in the morning, followed by equalization practice, statics in the pool, dynamic dives in the pool, and some rescue training in the pool as well. Day two was all open water. We did our line diving and we just worked on equalization and getting comfortable in the water. The dive course was awesome. Dan and Adam at Freediving Central really know their stuff. And Dan made the course heaps of fun just by being really positive and keeping everyone really comfortable in the water. I've met a diver who paid $400 for a freediving course and he didn't learn how to equalize, how to weight himself properly, or even how to breathe up safely. If you're getting into diving, make sure you do a course ASAP, but try and find some good instructors. I spent months trying to line up a dive course with the guys at Freediving Central because I've heard such good things. If you want to do a dive course in Sydney or the Central Coast, definitely check out the guys at Freediving Central. If you enjoyed the video or found it helpful in any way, give it a thumbs up down below so more people can check out the video. If you want to see more videos, click here to subscribe. Otherwise, check out the video here and here. All right, guys, see you in the next one.